Hello developers, in this video we are going to build a live streaming app with Flutter in just few lines of code. Yes, you heard it right, in just few lines of code and that is possible because of Jigo Cloud and Jigo Cloud UI Kit. So first let me tell you more about Jigo Cloud. So Jigo Cloud is a global communication service provider which provides you developer friendly and powerful SDK and APIs to build many communication features on your app such as video calls, voice calls, live streaming, in-app chats, virtual avatars, AI effects, cloud recording, support boards and many others. Now let's talk about Jigo Cloud UI Kits. So with Jigo Cloud pre-built UI Kits, you don't need to write code from scratch, handle, exceptions and all. You just use those UI kits like a widget in Flutter. For example, in Flutter, we use circular progress indicator widget. So we just call the widget and get the circular loading feature. Similar to that, we just use these UI kits and we get the complete feature. So we don't need to write too much codes and waste time there. Instead, we can just focus on building the features in our app. Now let's talk about creating a live streaming app with Jigo Cloud. So building a interactive live streaming app with Jigo Cloud is easy with the help of Jigo Cloud UI kits. So what are the key features available for live streaming on Jigo Cloud? So you can see here live interactions, streamer battles, live streaming forwarding, screen sharing, real time messaging, face beautification, virtual avatar, virtual gifting, watermark branding, super resolution, recording, quality monitoring. So these are the features available in Jigo Cloud streaming services. To get your first 10,000 free minutes, you can click on this sign up button and you will be redirected to this sign up page. Here you can see start now and get 10,000 free minutes. So as soon as you will complete the sign up process, you will get 10,000 free minutes instantly even without adding any card. So as you can see we got immediately 10,000 free minutes and advanced support plan as well. So now you can click and go on your dashboard. So now I am on my Jigo Cloud dashboard console. By clicking on this project I can create my first project. So I am going to create a project for the live streaming. So I will select this live streaming and uh, after that click next project name live streaming underscore test and here two ways to get started and in this video I am going to use the UI kit and I will use the UI kit for this flutter as you can see it is just like using a widget so start with UI kit and it will take few minutes to complete this project setup okay so the project setup is complete now it automatically redirect me to this dashboard here I can select like for which platform I am building my app so I will select this flutter for this video I am using flutter and here standard face beautification is applied so by default I am not going to turn on anything uh, you can turn on it according to your use save and start integration okay so now you can see our project setup is done i have selected this flutter app and here you can click on this quick start button and you will be redirected to this beautiful documentation page here everything is mentioned step by step like how you can use it in your flutter project to use the live streaming feature so let's go on the vs code and start okay so i have already created this jigo cloud test project and uh, here this is very simple home page and uh, here inside a column we have two button first one will take us to the live page where we will be the streamer and second button will take us to the page where we will be the viewer so let's uh, implement this live stream feature using this quick tour so first you need to add this dependency by running this command so i have already added it so you can see this is in my dependency and uh, next we will go with this live page so let's create a new file called 
live page live page dot dart and here I will paste this code and let's import the material dot dart and for this let's import this live streaming UI kit and here you need to pass your app ID and app sign in so probably you will pass it through environment variables if you are using it in your production but uh, as of now I am going to hard code it so in your console you can uh, go back and here you will see this live streaming project and here you can see app sign in so just uh, copy this copied and here you can paste your app sign in key and here uh, here you can see this is the app id that we need here on the app id and it is an integer so remove this quote and also we need the user id and username so for the demo purpose we can generate some random user id and we will use uh, the random id for both user id and username so string user id is equal to random dot next int and the maximum 10,000 dot to string so uh, this will be basically a random user id now remove const from here and now we can use this user id here user id and uh, here user dollar user id so it will be the username and it will be the user id now we need to use this live page from this home page so on this first like where we will be the streamer we have to set this is host true and from the uh, second button uh, we will not set is host true so let's do that so here on press we will push to that page so navigator dot push context material page root and here uh, builder will be the build context and here the live page and here uh, we need to give a live id so uh, for the demo purpose here we can uh, pass some uh, random live id or demo id so i am going to pass this test live id and if you are using it in production or in your app so most probably you will be creating and saving this live live id in your database and uh, obtaining this live id from there so this will be the live id and here we have to set the is host true because here we will be the streamer or we will be the uh, we will go here live so we will be the creator basically in go live option and same thing here in the side the watch live just uh, here we don't need the is host true so here we will not be the streamer so remove this okay so now our ui is ready our live page is ready you can further customize it and uh, now we need to do some additional configuration here so if you will go further in this quick start guide you can see here we need to change the compile sdk version to 33 inside the app build.gradle for android so android app build.gradle and here you can see the compile sdk version so set it to 33 and uh, here also we need to change the minimum sdk version to 19 okay and uh, next uh, we have to add this permissions in android manifest file so inside the android app source main android manifest at xml file after this line you can add those permissions and uh, next thing is uh, we need to create this provide rules that profile inside android app folder so let's copy it and uh, create it inside this 
app folder so new file and proguard rule start pro and paste this line here inside this file and now we need to add this line in the build.gradle file after uh, inside the release so build.gradle inside the release after this you have to add this line here and it will reference the file that we just created proguard rules dot pro and uh, for ios we will not do in this project so yeah now we are good to test it let's run it and test it so i'm going to run it on my emulator okay so you can see now this app is running we can go live or we can watch if someone is live so here first let's try this go live so it will ask for permission so allow it allow the audio permission and now you can see because in the simulator uh, camera is not allowed that's why i'm i can see the screen option so here uh, you can customize it like uh, you can use this face beautification options and other options are available that you can customize going on this live page so let's start the live start and as you can see this user is now live and here you can see total audiences and here uh, also you can send some message and chat so let's say he and you can see user sends he you can apply some effect face beautification effect you can add some audio track you can switch cameras you can mute you can unmute and here from here you can cancel this uh, live stream so let me join this live stream from my other device so i'm going to join this watch live and as you can see now here is one viewer you can see this is me host and this is a viewer that is me from another device so now i am going live from my phone and here i will join as a viewer so let me go live from my phone yes i am live on my phone let's watch it from here so hello as you can see uh, now i am live and here by clicking on this users you can see this is the host who is live and i am here as a viewer so in this way using jigo cloud and jigo cloud ui kit you can easily build live streaming app and you can implement live streaming feature in your application and don't forget to claim your first 10000 free minutes on jigo cloud so check out description for that that's all for this tutorial i hope you liked it